Welcome back to another Rostern video. Today I went solo on probably one of the most active custom Rostern servers out there. The server just had a massive update and introduced a ton of new features to the server, making it feel even more like real Rust. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, let's try to reach 40,000 by the end of this year. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one which is a bubbling Deimos scaler. If you want to win this sexy mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning so if someone wishes to become a member and support even further, the link will be in the description below. Today's video is sponsored by Sylvestria9. This amazing Rustern server is the server that we are going to play on today as well. As I mentioned in the intro, the server had a huge update introducing a ton of features from the base game Rust. This includes a functional workbench, a functional research system, a functional recycler, a lots of placeable barricades such as bear rugs, furniture and much much more. They also have a ton of custom made guns such as L9 96, M39, Prototype 17, HMLMG, and multiple grenade launchers, all of them with moving parts animations. They also have a ton of custom plugins and custom loot drops. The weapon have no magazines, meaning if you have 9mm you can use it on any gun instantly. Also, they do have amazing plans for the future with their current goal being map improvement since they have multiple and may also start creating new maps from scratch. I had a ton of fun playing on the server and honestly I can't wait for more updates. If you guys want to play on the server, the IP port and as well as the Discord link will also be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, we are currently in Sylvestria 9 Ross turn. Now we did the kid daily, which gives us a Thompson, which is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, he shot me. Alright, well the gowns sound much different than usual. Alright, let's mud up. I am in a very bad spot. Because I am behind. I'm gonna push him though. I don't know what gun he's using. I can't tell. Uh, he hit me. And I am dead. Alright, well, there goes my kid daily. Alright, so this server is a bit harder than other Rustern servers by the looks of it. I think there's also a bullet drop. I am still unsure. There is a recycler here. Alright. And it's functional. Ayo, let's go. Alright, we'll do that later then. I know how to work those things. Now, apparently the server just had a huge update. So we're gonna see what happened. Yeah, there's custom fold as well. That's pretty epic. Alright, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to build a base. I'm going to try to... A shotgun. Get myself some PvP. Maybe a little raid. Yeah, we need clothes actually. We need to find like a toolbox which can drop us clothes and armor. Oh, key cards. Alright, yeah, we got ourselves pretty much every key card. I'll take the green, blue, and red. Yeah, there's a small vault. We'll put them in there. Especially the red ones. There is a wolf. Bro, I can't hit him. He's going all around the place. Oh my god, I'm going to die. What? How is he? Alright, I'm dead. Oh, there's a guy right over there. Oh. Alright, well, I'm dead anyway. It was another person. Great start, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we've already died three times. There's lighthouse there. Let's just go loot over there really quickly. Let's make our water better graphics. Hopefully, we get ourselves some good stuff there. And hopefully, nobody is there. So, we can actually loot in peace. So that we can get ourselves a pretty okay start. Oh yeah, somebody was here. There's a recycler up here too. Anything? Ah, uh, alright. Well, I'll take the cloth. I can make a bag with that. There's some stone as well. Sulfur. Alright, let's do a bag. There we go. Alright, let's go to the very top and try to see. Maybe there's an elite crate or something like that. And I can't climb up. Wait, what? Alright, well, we cannot climb up. Yeah, we cannot do that jump for sure. Can we maybe jump from up here? Oh, there's a mini copter over there. He's going to launch site. Oh, he did the jump. Alright, let's go. Well, maybe whoever was here couldn't do it and he gave up. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's some loot over here. Blades, scrap. Now, I'm pretty sure scrap may be useful on the server because there's research tables and all of that. Yeah, there's a military crate. And it dropped high quality metal, CCTV camera, leather hatch. Oh, it's pretty cool. And a computer. All right, I don't know what those are used for, but we'll put them in there for now. Leather hatch is cool as well. Hey, wait. All right, well, we got ourselves a star and a flamethrower. Yeah, well, let's go. All right, our first gun. All right, so perhaps next I should start farming. Let's put these in there. So, wait, what? There's somebody crafting. All right, I think that was a recycler, actually. Never mind. All right, I feel stupid. Yeah, hey, binoculars. Now, maybe we can recycle that as well, actually. All right, as soon as we're done from here, we're gonna start farming, building a little base. Yeah, it gave us some frags, some oil. Some cloth. I'll take everything though. Alright, so I'm gonna start farming some trees. I think I just found myself a pretty decent base location. We're very close to three major areas. And we're very close to caves, which I have no idea what's over there. But we'll check it out later. Alright, let's play ourselves some pillars. So now I'm just gonna build a one by one. I'm not gonna go crazy when it comes to building. Wait, why isn't my pillars showing up? Alright, one, two, three, four. Hopefully I have enough wood actually. We'll build it a bit into... Oh, the base is decaying. Alright, well that's bad. 
I'm gonna start chopping down more trees. I don't have any more. But yeah, I'm gonna build the base half of it into the ground. Kind of seals off a wall. But today I don't want to build a small base. I actually want to build a pretty decently sized base. So I'm not gonna be running around in a 1x1 or a 2x1. So don't worry about that. But it'll come by time. I'm not gonna do my main thing building a base. For now, I just want somewhere to store my loot and I want to start exploring, seeing what stuff that there is, maybe into PvP. Alright, put the TC there, put a wall there, a doorway right over there. Now we gotta do the roof, which is right over here. Alright, perfect. And now I should be able to also make a door. Yeah, I have enough frags. Well, it takes 10 frags on the server. Alright, it's kind of expensive, but it, it's fine. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta upgrade everything. Even the sounds are different. That's so cool. An airdrop is passing by, I heard that. Alright, I'm gonna first upgrade my base to wood. Let's also make ourselves a bed. Sleeping bag, we'll put it right over there. And we also need to get ourselves some storage. So we gotta get ourselves quite a ton, actually. Also on the server, you do not get the logs by each hit. You get it when the, lo when the tree is completely chopped down. Alright, so I got myself quite a ton of logs. Let's start upgrading base. Making it full wood. Alright, well, I have the Brie on, so that's probably why this is happening. Hold on, let's turn it off. Let's try it now. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, good to know. Alright, so we also gotta make the pillars. Or else they could also be broken quite easily. Alright, we gotta do the floor as well. Now, as for the remaining wood, I'll probably just make it all into... Yeah, we did all of the pillars. But yeah, the remaining wood, I'll make them into small boxes for now. Since I don't have any metal frags. Yeah, I can make quite a ton, to be honest. But I'll make two for now. I'll put one there. Put the second one right over there. Now we could empty our vault. Alright, next step is I'm going to stack the logs and we'll go out looting. That's literally it. Put them right over there. The other junk that we don't want to lose. Pistol ammo, sulfur. Alright, and here we go. Well, there's a twig base. Oh, yeah, it's, it's raided. Wait, yeah, there's loot in here. Okay. Nothing that crazy, but we got ourselves a saw. Large furnace. Alright. Hazmat suit, another hazmat suit, and another shotgun. Oh, I don't know if I should actually go and depot these already. Yeah, I've already got another hazmat suit from like a normal box, which was kind of crazy. Also, I'm pretty sure that somebody is raiding very, very close. So maybe if we do actually figure out where they are, we could try to counter them with a with a sword. But yeah, let's loot here really quickly. I'm pretty sure we can get some good items from here. Oh, there's a red room in here. Oh, yo, all right. Well, let's take the red key card from here. We could open. Oh, and somebody was here already. Left a heavy plate jacket. I'll take that. Very good armor. There's still some boxes. Some barrels over here. This one dropped scrap. Nice. Oh, well, this was kind of disappointing. We didn't get anything that good. Alright, there's a recycler here. Let's start recycling. Even though we don't have anything that good. Alright, let's take the high quality. It gave us quite a ton of scrap, so... Metal frags. Alright, well, there's a water barrel. Alright, I'll take that. You know, a knife. Alright. Another spring. I'll put this spring in there. Let's take the HQM. Alright. Oh, it's very good that we're living close to Recycler, to be honest. And the red keycard room, too. It's just that we were unlucky that somebody had already looted it. There's a toolbox here. A mace. Hey, oh, that's so cool. All right, there's a military crate over here. This one, flamethrower and salvaged axe. Another one over here. Another SAR. Bunch of scrap. Jesus. Dude, we already have a full inventory. Maybe I should go depot. I got, like, three hazmat suits from this run. A large med kit. All right, let's check out what's up here. Maybe even more elite crates or something decent. Alright, so I'm gonna recycle everything that can be recycled. Hopefully we get ourselves quite a ton of frags. I don't know if I should recycle the CCTV camera and all of that, to be honest. But all of the pipes, they're gonna go the tech trash as well. Let's take the metal frags. Bro, look at all of the scrap as well. Jesus. Right, we need to drop something that we don't want. Let's put the road sign in there, first of all. We'll put the blade, too. All right, perhaps we can stack. Yes, sir, we can. Alright, so this Lutron isn't that bad. We got ourselves pretty decent items, man. I'm kind of happy with it. Take all of this scrap because that could be useful later on. Alright, and let's home. We got ourselves a small cooldown. We'll depot. I probably need to make myself more storage, to be honest. Alright, let's put the drop box there. Alright, I'll put... Okay, well, the water barrel. I don't know if I should place it in here because it takes quite a ton of space. I right, got ourselves night vision too. Alright, so with the logs and the frags, I can make myself a normal box. Alright, actually, the remaining wood, I'm just going to continue upgrading base, making it a bit bigger. Because that one by one was a bit way too small. Place a roof there. Hopefully, I actually have enough to actually upgrade it. I did, I did salvage this door. We'll put it there for now. Yeah, I do have some stone. So, maybe we could upgrade a bit of the one that one by one with stone. Alright, so first things first, let's do ourselves the second door. Put that right over there. Right, let's take ourselves the hammer, the HQM as well. Let's drop the mace for now. Let's start upgrading. First things first, we'll start with wood. Alright, stone. Now we gotta do the roof. And finally, we would only have to do the pillars. We gotta do that from 
outside. Wait, we're gonna fall. <laughs> I just realized we're gonna fall. Alright, these are already fixed. Yeah, we just gotta do these two out here. This one's done. Wait, this one's already brick. Oh, wait, what? Alright, well, I think the server has a thing. I don't have any resources. But yeah, yeah, we upgraded it as well. I don't think you can raid pillars because they're already covered by the doorway on the server, which is kind of cool, actually. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself some more wood. We did get our salvaged axe, so it shouldn't take us that long. I think it only takes, like, two or three chops. Yeah, it took three chops to get 18 wood. That's pretty good. Alright, so the base is fully fixed up. Everything is done now. I'm just gonna farm as much as well possible. We're gonna aim for a wood first. Maybe get ourselves a couple of stacks of hundreds. Oh, wait, we're, we're kind of already full, actually, so this might be a... This might be a bit stupid to go right now. Alright, so I made myself two boxes. We'll put everything in there. We could put the water barrel over there for now. Maybe later on we'll just put it outside somewhere. Alright, well, next up, I'm gonna go farming some other location. I don't want to go to the same location all the time. So we got ourselves two stacks of HQM. So let's upgrade two walls at least. Yeah, I think that's enough. Yeah, we don't have any more. Alright, in that case, let's put it back. Actually, I could go explore the caves next if I want to. I want to see what's down there. Since we have night vision, we could actually see. Alright, so we're gonna give the caves a look. We're gonna see what the hell's down here. Hopefully, elite crates, man. Diving tank. Also got myself a shotgun trap, by the way, which is kind of cool. Well, it looks like there's a bunch of nodes. Yeah, if we don't have night vision, we wouldn't be able to see anything. And there's a huge base over here, of course. Yeah, I think it's traded, actually. There's a hole in it. There's another big base here. Jesus. There's a furnace out here. And we could go in here. Alright, so I assume that we may actually get lost down here, but there's a lot of nodes. There's a lot of sulfur nodes, a lot of metal nodes. We're dehydrated, so let's just drink from our water jug. Yeah, it's still here. Tree forts. Alright, we could drink from it four times. Oh yeah, so if we ever need metal sulfur, there's a soul crystal in here. Oh, there's a metal crate. There's a military crate. Anything good? Hazmat suit. Custom SMG. That's very nice. Some scrap. Yeah, we cannot do anything with that. Wood shutters. Road sign jacket, pipes, another salvage dex. We're not gonna take it though, it's fine. We only need one. Oh, these caves are actually massive. We cannot go over there, it's sealed, nice. Sandbag, nice. Alright, so we are out from the caves. Pretty good loot run down there, actually. We got ourselves quite a ton of items. Some guns, I did farm some sulfur as well. Custom SMG, which is quite big. We got ourselves a bunch of barricades too. Right. Oh, we can actually... Oh, right, we don't need to go to the recycler then. That's good to know. Yeah, we could salvage everything from here. And there is a lot of stuff on the floor. All right, let's just start picking them up then. Let's put the sulfur in here and all the metal nodes that I've got. I also got myself a KX spawner, by the way. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a guy up there. That shot. Oh, he's so low, man. All right, let's push him. Yeah, he has a light on. I have no idea how we're gonna go up, actually. Yeah, this location, I've never been here before. Bro, how are we gonna go up there? Wait, can we maybe make it from this rock? Oh, there, there's the way here. Yeah, he's showing me where he is because of his lights. Oh, he's right over there. Alright, he's running away. And he is dead. Alright, let's check out what loot he had. Alright, he has a salvage sword, pickaxe, salvage pickaxe, a mining helmet. That's really good. High quality, a bunch of junk. I'll take the salvage sword. He had bones. Yeah, when you kill players on the server, you get their skull as well, which is very, very cool. And you can make, like, stuff with it. You can make a... Uh, a helmet with it. Alright, can the sword be used? Yes, it can. We can salvage stuff with it. Bro, there's a hazmat suit guy coming here. Probably heard my shots. I don't know if he has a gun. He's running around with a rock out. Alright, he's farming down here. And he is dead. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. He has two Thompsons, flamethrower, water pipe. Another hazmat suit. Dude, I'm full of loot, man. Let's see if we can store anything in our vault. I don't really think so because it's almost full as well. There's a bean can grenade. Let's take the axe. Take the bean can. Bro, there's a lot of stuff we're gonna have to leave. Uh, I'm gonna go home, though. Sultron was very good. Got ourselves two kills. A lot of loot. Some more guns. Pretty nice. Yeah, we are back in base. Let's go. Well, let's store all of this loot that I've got. Bunch of high cal, bunch of tools. Guns are very nice as well. Probably have to start using the Thompson soon because I don't have any ammo for the SAR. Right, let's salvage everything that we've just gotten as well. Yes sir, got ourselves quite a ton of scrap too. Alright, so I'm over here getting some more fuel. Somebody already looted here though. So we're not gonna get anything that good, but we need fuel. Oh, there's a guy back there. I saw a guy. Oh, yeah, I think he's naked though. Yeah, he's naked. But we still gotta kill him, he didn't have anything. There's a bunch of chopped trees around. So maybe there's a live base very close too. But we'll check it out later, we don't have any raiding gear yet. I actually do wanna raid, but on this server I think it's a bit different to raid. I don't think you can actually craft C4 that easily. Yeah, we're back in base. 
Alright, so I just farmed a lot of wood, got 300 wood. <laughs> That's a lot. I'm gonna get some sulfur as well. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself a research table, there we go. Now I have no idea how it works. I think we just, yeah, we just put an item inside. Let's see what we could research. I mean, a gun probably. Let's put the custom in there. Oh yeah, and it tells us how much scrap we need. We need 125 for this. We should have more than enough for that, to be honest. We did pick up quite a ton. Yeah, 10, 20, 30. We got a lot of stacks of 10s. Yeah, I have 100 stack here too. And it tells you how much there is inside. Yeah, it's sick. So we have 130, but we need the exact amount. So let's just put 5 in. And it's gone. Oh, I think... Ah, oh, it's being crafted right now. Alright, now... Oh, we got the blueprint. And I think it's learned. I don't know, it's not in my inventory. Right, let's see if we can actually craft it. I have no idea. I think we need some materials of a custom SMG. So let's just put in, I don't know, some frags maybe. Some high quality. Oh yeah, yeah, we can craft it. Perfect. Alright, that's how it works. Oh, hey, that's so cool, man. Well, we gotta do a lot of these then. We gotta learn a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure we need to get ourselves a C4 in order to learn it as well, actually. Alright, well, I'm gonna make myself some more crates. Because we're running out of space. Put one right over there, there we go. Let's depot, and we'll continue farming probably. Alright, so we're currently in airport. Trying to get as much stuff as possible. Got a lot of like, barricades, but I think we can actually salvage them inside the recycler. And since we're here, you know, why not? So I'm probably just gonna put as much stuff in there as possible. I kinda put HQM by mistake, but it's fine. Alright, let's put the display shelf as well, we don't really want it. The air conditioner. I don't know if they actually give us stuff though, but they probably do. It would be cool if they do. Yeah, HQM, we already got a stack, some scrap metal as well. Alright, bunch of more frags, very nice. Bunch of scrap. Got automatically stacked too, that's really cool. Alright, let's put the rope back in there because it gives us a lot of cloth. Alright, let's see if any of these give us anything next. Alright, yeah, the fuse is gone. Now, these are all new items that I don't know if they actually give us stuff. Yeah, that one did. A lot of logs. A lot of tarps. Oh, and a stack of metal, too. Yeah, they're giving us a lot of cloth from the tarps. Right, and the air conditioner gave us a lot of metal. Oh, even more. Nice. Right, and we are done. All right now, let's stack everything because we got a lot. Got us 100 metal, 40 frags. That's pretty good, man. All right, let's put some stuff in vault, especially this scrap. Because we're gonna... It's gonna be very, very useful if we need to research everything. Alright, so I did bring my Thompson with me this run. Alright, this box gave us some more junk. We could salvage them later. Alright, there's nothing in this bunker. Oh, and there's a hole down here. Alright, let's check it out. There's tunnels. Oh, it's getting quite dark. I don't have a helmet, but I would need to not use the hazmat, basically. So let's do that. Well, let's turn it on. Let's pick everything up. And then we'll wear the hazmat as soon as we're out. Because it gives us more space, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so I don't know where this will lead me. Maybe, hopefully, a red room or something like that. But where the... Oh, yeah, we got our blue room. Okay, blue key card room. Yeah, I should have one on me. Epic. Yeah, it's unloaded. Hopefully, there's elite crates in here, man. Propane tanks, a bunch of junk. Binoculars. Hazmat suit. Alright, we've got more key cards. Two red key cards. That's pretty nice. Right, there's actually nothing that good down here. I was hoping for at least military crates, but there is... Oh, there is one, actually. Barricade. Very nice. A bunch of junk. And my inventory is full. Right, let's check out what this one has. Flamethrower, pickaxe. Nothing that good. There's right, so an elite crate, finally. I heard shots in the background as well. 556 rifle ammo, locker. Right, well, I'll take the ammo 100%. All right, let's put that there. We'll put the locker too. I was kind of hoping for better loot. I was hoping for like an AK or an LR to be honest. All right, so we're next to the recycler. I also switched to the hazmat, so we gotta pick everything up. And I'm gonna put stuff that I want to salvage in the recycler as well. We did get a bunch of junk. Stuff I don't know if they can actually get recycled or not, but we'll give it a try. Wait, well, there's a guy. Oh, he's dead. And he has MP5. Oh, that's pretty good. Right, I definitely want to take that MP5. My inventory is completely full, man. Can we, like, salvage stuff? Like, stack? Yeah, we can stack some stuff. Right, let's take the ammo for it as well. Yeah, we could leave the rest. We could only really want to take this call or any of that. All right, before we home, let me check if there are... Yeah, there's a military crate up here. And flamethrower, high quality, we'll take the high quality 100%. Because usually up here there's an elite crate, but I am unsure. Another military crate. Thompson, lovely. Bro, this was probably my best loot run yet. Oh yeah, an elite crate. Amazing. And it had AK. Oh, finally, bro. Finally, a high tier gun. I don't know if I should research it, to be honest, or keep it. Alright, and let's home. Double your loot run, ladies and gentlemen. Very happy with this one. Alright, so I've been farming a lot of logs. Now we're gonna... Continue upgrading base, make it a bit bigger. Or get killed while I'm building. Oh, we gotta salvage this because it's in the way. There we go. 
Now I just pick these items up because if we place the crate on it, it may actually cause some problems. Alright, let's just stack them really quickly and then we'll unstack it afterwards. Now I was thinking of doing out here completely triangular actually. Something a bit different than usual. Maybe like a honeycomb. Alright, let's put that over there. Let's put everything back inside. Now I have a lot of barricades, but I'll place them afterwards. Place them around. So got some high external walls too. Alright, let's salvage the logs. Let's put the pillars. Let's make ourselves another floor. Actually, this I will salvage the walls afterwards and it'll be like a full 2 by 2 Alright, let's put the doorway there. We can put stairs there, that'll kind of look cool. Alright, two roofs. Perfect. Alright, let's find our hammer so that we can upgrade. Also, we need to make ourselves another door. Alright, so I upgraded the second part to full metal. And over here is the triangular bit that I was talking about earlier. It could be like a shooting area, so in case people are trying to raid me or something or people are passing by. Let's upgrade the pillars already. Let's make some windows. And over here we'll do a normal doorway, basically. Let's make ourselves the roofs. Alright, lovely. All right, and the shooting area is technically done. I can only do all of it metal except one triangular roof, which I had to do with wood for now, but it's fine. Plus, we need to make shutters and all of that, but we need bars. And I think we need to research bars to do it, which we don't have any of right now. Actually, we do have one. Well, an airdrop is gonna land somewhere very, very... Yeah, it's right over there. I see it's signal. Hopefully, nobody is here. Yeah, coast seems clear. I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna go for it, hopefully. High tier loot, man. Like a C4 would be amazing. Alright, jackhammer, saw, and shotgun. A lot of ammo, a lot of scrap. We got like 300, 400 scrap. Alright, that's pretty good. I like that. I'm really happy with the jackhammer, to be honest. Oh yeah, we are back in base. Oh, there are two guys there for hazmat. I don't know what loot they have, but I'm gonna give it a try. If I kill them, it would be some really, really good loot, man. Alright, this guy has not... Oh, he almost killed me. I'm oh, at 17 HP. Let's right, up. Yeah, the other guy is pushing me. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's right here. Bro, I need to reload. Alright, both dead. Oh, Alright, both the MP5, a lot of ammo. This guy had Thompson, revolver. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Bro, I'm getting out of here, man. Bro, there are three man team, Jesus. Alright, let's get out of here. I got the majority of the good loot, especially the guns. Let's go home depot and we'll return. Alright, depoted everything. Now let's go back. Got ourselves two full suits. A lot of guns. Oh, he's right there. Green skin, dude. He has the same green skin I killed earlier, I think. Alright, he is dead. Another Thompson, lovely. Bunch of more ammo. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we're back in base. That was a really, really good kill, man. Those three kills was mad profit. It's getting dark as well, so I'm gonna continue farming a bit probably next. Alright, so we're gonna check out another location, which is the subway. Oh, it's closed. Wait. Oh, never mind. We can go in. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, there are zombies, which are supposed to be scientists. They get. Oh, yeah, they give me stuff. Alright, well, I'm gonna farm down here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, j dude, okay, jackhammer. Satchel! Ayo, perfect. Alright, let's put the satchel in vault. Good raid, a wooden door with that. A cleaver. Bro, there's so much, like, cool stuff in the server. Alright, well, a bunch of junk, nothing that good. Uh, Alright, let's loot here really quickly, and I'll show you guys what I get. I'm gonna kill as much zombies as possible, so it might take me a while down here. Hopefully there are elite crates too, but I I don't know. I uh, did pretty much farm everywhere that I wanted. There are no elite crates or military crates or any of that, but we did get ourselves a ton of furniture, including a bear rug. Which is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in Rust Alright, uh, let's kill these zombies, and I'm probably gonna home. Alright, we are back in base. I'm going to learn... The satchel charge, it takes only 1 to 5 scrap as well. So let's get it, and we'll learn it. I also learned bean can, because in order to because in order to craft satchels, we need bean can, so I had to learn it. So I'm gonna learn ladders, because why not? Alright, so I made myself a shelf, placing these crates, but I need to jump to do it. Wait, I have an idea, actually. We'll just go on top of this crate. Right, let's put everything in here. Let's have the pistol ammo, we do need that. Now, since we got ourselves... Oh, we got ourselves this, a planter. You know what? I'm gonna put this right over there. Let me salvage this. And we'll have, like, a planter outside. Uh, let's close that. I'm really liking how my base is looking, by the way. Looks very epic. Now I'm gonna use the C4 and the flamethrower, hopefully, to raid. I do have some incendiary shots for a shotgun, too. I do know a very small base that has a wooden door. So it should be more than enough. Alright, so this is the base. It's completely high quality, but then the door is wooden, which is weird. Now I don't know if the satchel will be enough. If not, I still have more in base. Yeah, we gotta have... Yeah, it wasn't enough. 205 out of 350. 
Alright, our base is very, very close, so I'm just gonna go get a flamethrower and maybe some incendiary shots for the shotgun. Alright, we're back. Now, I'm not sure if the flamethrower actually does any damage. But let's give it a try. Alright, so it's at 205. Now it's 159. Yeah, it does damage. Alright, perfect. And we have a lot in base too, so that's good. But I'm pretty sure we can only raid wooden doors with it. Alright, it's at 44 HP. Alright, yeah, and it broke. Is there anything in here? There's one box. Satchel, okay. Satchel, some high quality and a heavy face mask. Alright, that's it. Yeah, it didn't do any damage to the armored. It was the satchel charge that did the damage. Alright, well, we did get the satchel in return. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't worth it, though. Definitely. Oh, there's a guy here. And he is dead. Yeah, Thompson. Another hazmat suit. That's it. Some ammo. Oh, there's a guy right over here. Yo, what's up, bro? He's dead. Oh, ayo, hey, okay. Well, he has a HMG or whatever that is. And I'm 249, I don't even know what that is. Right, we're on a nine kill streak already. Oh, it's an HMLMG, okay. I'm not gonna use it though, I'm just gonna keep it here and we're still gonna run around with Thompson. Another guy dead. 10 kill streak. Revolver and mad. Bro, there's another airdrop here. I don't know if it's loaded or not, let's check it out. How's it even loaded? Satchel LR, high quality, a bunch of ammo, some scrap. Bro, that's epic. All right, let's home. Let's vault. Oh. And I died. All right, let's home. Let's go back. Let's take the MP5. Thankfully, it's very close to our base. It's literally right behind this hill. Hopefully, he will stay there, man. Hopefully, he won't home as soon as he gets the loot. Oh, there's more people. Somebody else shooting. Oh, he's right over here. All right, first guy dead. This is not the same guy, though. Oh, he's shooting me. He hit me once. But he has bad aim. And he is dead. Alright, let's get the good loot. What gun was he using? I think he was using the LR. Let's take all the important stuff. The armor door especially. That's very, very good. And we still gotta go check out what the first guy had as well. Let's med up, get to 100 HP. Had the airdrop despawned too. Oh, he was using the LR. Bro, he missed 15 shots on me. He hit me once. Alright, so I killed the first dude here. Oh, he's back. He's dead. He, he had revolvers, a crossbow. Yeah, he was a new player. Alright, let's home. W second airdrop, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. There's a guy standing still. What's up, bro? Revolver. Some junk. A lot of food. Alright, so I'm going to the safe zone. I'm gonna check out what's actually over there. I'm pretty sure we can buy stuff with the scrap. So let's go over there. See what we can buy. Or maybe there's a gambling area. That would be cool. Alright, so mostly you can buy boats and helis. That's pretty much it. There's a boat right here. Bro, I'm taking this boat. This is my brand new whip. Yeah, they aren't that expensive either. Kayak, boat. Not too bad. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you guys do want more videos on this server, I had a really, really fun time playing here. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!